Welcome back to Crypto Mining Insider. That's right, guys, I am losing my mind today with all the videos of all the different miner changes, everything from Excavator for MB Miner, and now we have the golden one. T-Rex Miner version 0.26.1 was released today, May 11th, 2022. And this miner helped me to break some new records on my LHR cards. And let's face it, I need it now that crypto prices are down. They're in the toilet. I looked at the prices a little while ago of Ethereum and Bitcoin, and wow, mining revenue really sucks. So I have to do everything I can to make the most of it. And in the meantime, just I'm going to be doing the best I can. I'm just going to keep plowing through and mining on. So as my wife sometimes tells me, you just got to stay calm and mine on. And that's what I intend to do. So let me share some new record-breaking numbers with you. And the best part is, is I'm going to be doing this all in Windows on NiceHash. So that's right, I'm going to be using T-Rex 26.1, the brand new version of it, and we're going to break some new records. So let's go have some fun. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to press down on that subscribe button. Stick with me and let's get started. Looking at the T-Rex GitHub site, version 0.26.1 was just released a couple of hours ago. And it mentions ET hash and Auto Lycos 2, which is ergo. They have achieved 100% LHR on lock, except for 3080 12 gig and 3050 graphic cards. It mentions the LHR unlocker requires 512.xx version of the driver in Windows and 510.xx on Linux. So you're definitely going to need these drivers. I've tried it originally testing on other drivers and I was not very successful. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that you're using the updated driver that they recommend. There's nothing else mentioned here other than you can download a Windows version or you can download the Linux version and pull it into Hive. So with that said, I'm going to be switching over to my LHR rig and let's get set up and start our testing. Switching over to my dedicated LHR rig where I do all my testing for my LHR cards, I've just swapped the hard drive over to be Windows and I'm going to be using NiceHash. And for today's testing, I'm going to be using NiceHash and I'm using version 3.070, which is an older version. And the reason I'm using that is because it contained T-Rex Miner plugin. See, NiceHash used to support the T-Rex Miner, but they don't support it directly anymore. The last version they supported was probably well over a year ago. Any of the new features for the LHR unlock or anything else like that is not supported in that very old version that they used to support. But not to worry, because I've created the T-Rex Miner plugin adapter that if you use this older version of the nice hash like 3.070 or prior, along with my T-Rex Miner plugin, I'm going to be dropping a link down below as well as instructions for how to use it. You can use the later versions of the T-Rex Miner natively within nice hash, including this version 0.26.1 that I'm going to be testing shortly. And it's really simple to set up a lot of your overclocks and do your tuning right within NiceHash. Let me show you. From within NiceHash, if you select the Benchmark tab, you're going to be presented with a list of the different graphic cards in your computer. And if you click on the down arrow next to each card, it'll open up a list of the different miners and algorithm selections. So for my case, I'm going to be choosing Degger Hashimoto, which is Ethereum, and T-Rex. And in here, I'm going to click on the gears icon. And you're going to see the custom algorithm setting dialog open. When that dialog opens, you're going to be presented with three options. The first is your benchmark speed. Many times, NiceHash fails setting the benchmark speed. So I often have to come in and just set it manually. But that's pretty easy. I just enter the value times a million. So if it was 80 mega hash, I would be entering in 80 million. If it was 60 mega hash, I would enter in an estimate of 60 million. Beneath that is the power, which is just an estimate of your wattage. And in the lower portion, you see extra launch parameters. This is the most important part because in the extra launch parameters, it lets me specify my locked core clock, my memory clock offset, as well as my fan. And what's great is with this new version of the T-Rex Miner, I don't have any of this dash dash LHR auto tune, dash dash LHR intervals, dash dash LHR tuning itself. It's much simpler now that we can just start up this miner and it's all handled for us. Additionally, I have a parameter specified here. You'll see it the first dash dash adapter ID. And sometimes NiceHash will actually reverse or screw up the order of your graphic cards. But by you specifying that dash dash adapter ID, I can force it to say, hey, even though NiceHash thinks this card is number four, it's really at a certain position of number six. And those numbers begin at zero. 
So that's why this card is actually number seven, but I'm telling you it's the ID is six. So again, all the instructions for using the T-Rex Miner plugin, I'm going to be putting the link down below. You can follow it step by step and I'll walk you through how to set up the T-Rex Miner and how to install it and get it all running in NiceHash. The only thing you have to do is decide what version of the T-Rex Miner you want to be using. Add it in and you're all set to go. And now the exciting part, let's start this miner. So you see the crypto mining inside of T-Rex Miner plugin adapter is opened and I'm using T-Rex version 0.26.1 in Windows and I'm using the NVIDIA driver 5.12.15. It's really important you have that driver. Other drivers are experiencing problems, so make sure you're using 5.12.15. And here's my eight LHR cards. They are all recognized in the miner, and it's giving me the dev fee. I see it's connected to the NiceHash Stratum. There's my user account there from one of my NiceHash wallets. It's starting, and it's ramping up this miner. On the lower portion of the screen, I see it's generating the DAGs. The overclocks have been applied. Uh, mind you too, I am really want to test this miner to its limit. So my overclocks are purposely set very high today. I'm not encouraging or endorsing anyone to set overclocks this high. I really want to push this miner. I thought it'd be really cool to see how far we can really go with it. I see some hash rates starting to come in. Look at it, 450, 600 I'm getting to. Wow, 122.98 mega hash on my RTX 3080 Ti card. That is a new record for me seeing on that card. And all these cards are running really aggressively on the overclocks, but I am getting incredible results. Look at that, 101.17 mega hash on my 3080. I'm seeing 83.98 mega hash on my 3070 Ti's. This is looking fantastic. Up now it's even higher, 123.16 mega hash and 84 mega hash now on my 3070 Ti's. I'm gonna be watching the temperature close because again, this is not my normal overclock settings I would be using. I just really want to be able to push this miner to see how far I can get it. And I'm really blown away by these results. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and let me come back in a little bit after we see some uh, more consistency and make sure it's still gonna be holding up this way over time. I've let this miner run for over 35 minutes and I'm getting incredible epic results. Look at that 125.92 mega hash on my RTX 3080 Ti. high. That's an all new high for me. I was happy to get 122 and even see 123 earlier before, but now wow, 125.92. That is absolutely epic. That is a new record for me with my card. And once again, these are not my standard overclocks. I have them dialed up really high today and I have extra fans on the rig to keep them cool. But I just want to see how far we could really push and how far we could really test this latest T-Rex miner, the 0.26.1. And I am absolutely blown away with the results on it. I'm seeing incredible results on all my cars. My 3080 coming in at 101.31. Sometimes I see it hitting 102 mega hash. My 3070 Ti's are giving me 82 to 83 mega hash on average. I'm seeing on my 3070, I'm getting 61.84 mega hash. Look at that with a 0.552 efficiency. That is totally epic to me. And all my efficiency numbers, mind you, they're above 400. The lowest one is my 3060. I think it's my XC card from EVGA. But even so, that's giving me 49.23 mega hash, but with like a 428 efficiency. That's a fantastic improvement from what we had a week ago till now. Who knows that we would have full LHR unlock? These results were epic. This is just the type of boost I needed. Seeing 125 mega hash on my RTX 3080 Ti for the first time ever. So wow, definitely kudos, power to your T-Rex Miner with this one. I plan to be doing a lot more tests with T-Rex Miner in Windows as well as Hive OS. So if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe so you stay notified of any progress and updates I make on this. I hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing some new records shattered. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up like and drop some comments down below. I'd love to hear your feedback and your experience of how it's going with the latest T-Rex Miner. Until next time, stay safe. See you in the next video. Happy mining!